Imagina o que seria isso no Rio de Janeiro, a vontade que você tem? Olha, de verdade, seria muito bom, seria muito bom. Mas no final de tudo, todo mundo vai estar me aplaudindo. Escuta bem o que eu estou te dizendo. I, 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 you can see what people are, I, I don't want to infer anything here, but imagine this in real, how much bigger it would be. Wouldn't you love to have that in real? Don't worry about it, his answer. Don't worry about it. Uh, at the end of the day, you're all going to be clapping and stand, giving you a standing ovation. Just listen to me. Hello, hello. My name is Michael from MA May Rocks from Poland. One question uh, for Benil. Mateusz Gamro told me yesterday that uh, when uh, he saw you first time here, his impression was that you are not so big in real. So the question is, what was your first impression when you saw Mateusz Gamro first time here? Oh, I thought he was actually bigger than I expected. So <laughs> mine was the opposite. I don't know, brother. We were eating breakfast. I didn't think much of it. He looked, uh, he looked like he was hungry. I would, I'm not sure what you want from me. This is it. Thank you. Hi. Uh, my question is for John Anik. Uh, the buzz around this card has been incredible on social media. The card has been buzzing. Abu Dhabi has been great. Do you think it, this is the most tagged card in UFC history, UFC 280? Well, it's certainly an argument to be made that this is the deepest card that we've had in 2022 and as deep a card as we can put together. We've had a lot of fans from the United States flying over here for this pay-per-view. So, yeah, I think that speaks to the depth of the card and the fan anticipation. We're very excited, man. I'm anxious. I can't wait to get to Saturday night. Thanks, John. Thank That's you. That's it. This is Rejel from S4 Plus Turkey. This question is for Islam. Islam, uh, how do you see your uh, styles match up against uh, Charles Sorvia in terms of grappling? And if and only if he catches you in a guillotine or rear naked choke, would you rather tap or go to sleep? And Kathleen, you look awesome, by the way. Honestly, my, my style bad for him because, you know, he always pressure his opponent because nobody tried to take him down. All these guys lost his opponent, scared his ground game, but this is he i don't i don't care about his ground game because he tried to do something but when someone would give him good defense or like i saw his couple fight was uh paul felder and he, when he tried to choke him and uh, what happened he defense couple time and this guy gave up you know that's why i don't care about his grappling I just say it true, you know, this is not just my opinion. Charles over here. Oh. We saw too many exchanges right now and the fans were crazy. Do you feel like there's some motivation? Is it some motivation for you to see the fans right now crazy? Charles. We said too many fans of Islam Makhachev. Do you feel like it's so pressure or is it just another day at the office for you? Cara, você tá vendo aí como é que tá acontecendo? Teve uma tro um troca troca aí de uma forma de, de gritaria com vocês, mas assim, é uma luta como qualquer outra para você? É uma luta especial? Não, com certeza, ele merece todo o respeito do mundo, mas é uma luta contra uma luta qualquer. A gente somos profissionais, a gente tem que lutar. É isso que a gente faz, a gente vem em luta. Eu tô aqui para isso, para lutar, fazer história. Listen, I, I, I understand every, he's, he deserves, deserves all the respect in the world, but it's, it is another day at the office. It's another fight. We're professionals. We're here to fight, and that's what we're going to do. We came here to fight. That's it. Okay. Hi, everyone. My question for Charles Oliveira. In your opinion, have your fight against peak best version of Khabib Nurmagomedov would play out? Na sua opinião, Charles Oliveira, como é que seria uma luta entre você e Khabib no Magomedo? Olha, a gente só vai saber se o homem lá voltar a lutar. I mean, we're only gonna know if the man over there comes back and fights again. Mere... Merece todo o respeito por tudo que fez, pelo esporte, né? Mas isso a gente só vai saber um dia se ele voltar a lutar. Eu respeito por ter se aposentado, eu respeito por tudo que fez, mas isso só vamos saber se um dia ele voltar a lutar. Se não, é ficar do 
He deserves all the respect in the world. He deserves the respect for everything he's done for the sport. But the only way we would ever find out is if he ever came back and fought again. Question for Charles. Charles, ontem, em entrevista pra gente, o Islam falou em português né, que o campeão tem o um nome, que é Islam Mahashev. Queria saber qual vai ser a sua resposta a essas provocações que ele está tentando fazer para você em português. Charles, yesterday, actually, uh, Islam, in an interview for Brazilian television, said that the champion has a name and it's Islam Mahashev. Uh, what is your answer to that? Ele é um só tem um, só, só existe um. As pessoas querem tanto me imitar, quando eu comecei a falar que o campeão tem nome, agora todo mundo quer falar a mesma coisa. O campeão do peso leve se chama Charles Oliveira, esse é o leão, o leão embaçado. Hey, there's only one king, there's only one lion king. I, if people want to be me so much that they start copying what I said. I said the champion has a name, now everybody's gonna say it. Hey, uh, the champion has a name, is Charles Oliveira, and I'm the lion king. All right, thank you all very much for coming out. We appreciate the support. Don't forget, ceremonial weigh-ins for UFC 280 tomorrow on this very stage, 4 p.m. local time. Doors open at 3 p.m. We're going to clear the stage and stare these men and women off. One final time, how about a hand for your stars at UFC 280? Boom, boom.